Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show we're continuing with our Ghostbusters collectible reviews. As you can see here, we have the Ghostbusters, the rookie adult collector. So, I ordered this off of Amazon, um, and I'm actually surprised that they had it in the white mailer box. As you can see there, I'm, I think I'm going to keep this box. Just plain white box. There's the back. Sides plain. 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 But it's got the Ghostbusters logo and the rookie on there. Now let's go ahead and open this box and take a look at the actual packaging. All right, so the rookie did come in the same exact packaging as my Peter Venkman figure. Uh, the Peter Venkman in lab coat with the taxi driver ghost. So according to IDW Comics, uh, the real name of the rookie is actually Brian Welsh. However, that name was never used in the video game, which this guy originated from. Um, he's always gone by the rookie or some other, uh, cute little nickname created by the Ghostbusters. Um, however, Eric Burnham did come up with his name for the IDW comics. He later went on to start his own franchise in Chicago. So anyway, as you can see, there's the two terror dogs on the front, the Ghostbusters logo up top, Stay Puff Marshmallow Man in the background. And then we've got the rookie on the bottom. And then inside, or not inside, but on the back, we have his personnel file. Uh, who are you going to call Ghostbusters? Six inch and 12 inch Ghostbusters figures available on medicollector.com, which I, I want to say is no longer in service. Uh, does that sound right, guys? I, I never really got into the Maddie Collector. I mean, I would have loved to be able to. I just never really had the money to uh, to get into MaddieCollector.com. Uh, so, um, as you can see, personnel file, the rookie. Profession, rookie Ghostbuster. Experimental equipment technician. Uh, Ghostbuster status, man of many nicknames, newbie, hoss, ace, and expendable. Quotable quotes, uh, dot, dot, dot. Habits and hobbies, clumsy and understated, but eventually saves the day. Accomplishments, defeated the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, the Collector, and Evo Shandor, crossed over into the spirit world. So, uh, and apparently he did uh, answer a help wanted ad. So, all right, guys, let's go ahead and... Uh, open the box up, and take a look at the Rookie. So first and foremost, the Rookie does come with an open trap. As you can see here, it's got the foot pedal. It's got the energy coming out of it. And what's cool about this is you can remove this part and you can close the trap it'll focus there we go so it can open and close which is very cool and the amount of detail they put into this thing is just amazing they even got the foot switch right now you do want to be careful with this because this part is a very flexible, very soft, very thin plastic. And then you can put this back inside, just like this. And you can trap a ghost. In fact, let's go ahead and get a ghost. We'll get one of the ghosts from the uh, real Ghostbusters line. And he fits right in there. 
So that's cool. That is very cool. Then... As you can see, he comes with the Ecto Goggles, his own Proton Pack and Proton Wand. Another trap that does not disconnect from his belt. A PKE meter that stays on his belt. As well as the hose. Overall, everything else seems to be exactly the same as the other Ghostbusters in the line. Uh, the Ecto Goggles are removable. They can go down over his eyes. In fact, I wonder if these would work on the uh, Ray figure. Um, the only difference between him and the other Ghostbusters in the line is his pack is non-removable. It's, it's mounted on his back. So... That's uh that's one I don't know if you'd want to call it a downfall because I don't know anyone who would want to display them outside of their uh without their packs on. But he has the same articulation as the other Ghostbusters, uh swivel at the thigh, knee joint, uh ankle rocker up and down, side to side slightly, and at the calf, uh, his arms, let's go ahead and remove this one, I'll show you on this one, his arms do go all the way around, it's on a ball joint and hinge, so it can go out, uh, there's a slight elbow joint, but it's hindered by the pad. Uh, and then you do have a swivel at the wrist. So we'll go ahead and put and I haven't tried taking this out of his hand yet. I'm afraid. Um, see and it does mount to the back of the to the proton pack which way is it going to mount see there is a peg there and there's a slot there But, there we go, got it to attach, which means he can, hold the trap, it just kind of sits in his hand though, um, don't really think it yeah the handle's not big enough to fit in his hand which is a shame but i really love all the detail they put into this guy uh very nice let's go ahead and put this back in and then uh also i forgot to show you his head is on kind of a ball joint he can go look up slightly down side to side rotate all over all the way around um, let's go ahead and put this back in his hand and we will compare him with the other Ghostbusters. And there he is guys, side by side with the other four Ghostbusters from the same toy line. And I have to say, these guys look amazing together. Um, let's go ahead and see if the Ecto Goggles will work on Ray. No, they, they are a little bit too big for Ray's head. <laughs> They will only work on the rookie. Um, 
they gave the rookie kind of a big head compared to the others. I'm not sure why they did that, but um, still, still pretty cool. These guys are going to look great together displayed on my shelves. So there you guys have it. The Maddie Collector Ghostbusters, the rookie action figure. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, if you did, give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, share with your friends. I've been Shannon for Comic Gun TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.